Hello all my crafty friends, it's Amanda from Crafty Fit, and today I am going over what I have left of the Snow and Cocoa collection. So um, my goal for this month was to get through most of this collection, and I feel like I did a pretty good job. I'm getting to the point where I'm done like playing with it. I'm like, alright, this is enough to like spread out between my um, stash, and um, I didn't save all of the packaging just because it was just uh, a little bit overwhelming with how much stuff I had with this collection. But I did save the, um, what are these called? The die cut pieces and, or the packaging for it because I used all of these up and I was super proud that I used them up. Um, I wanted to get through one of these and I almost made it guys. I think if I made a couple more rosettes I would be fine but I'm okay with this. This is fine. So I'll put this in my stash with um, all my other little pom-poms. The um, border, I actually took apart the whole thing and made actually a layout out of it. Um, so this is what I have left of the border strips. But I think I'm just going to get rid of these because I really don't need them. Um, they're just not, not being used. So... I will, um, I will, uh, put, put those in the recycling. I also have a couple more things from the embellishment packs and the tags, um, and frames. I actually made frames out of these. So, um, I'm just going to throw these in a, and I cut up a, a, a lot of the snowmen. So I think I'm going to put these into a embellishment pack and just keep them with all of my embellishments. And then I cut up um, the papers for these and I will use these at a, as a, late, at a later date. I used maybe like one or two, but um, I just couldn't use them all. So I will definitely be using these for other projects. These will go into my frames and tags. Um section of my stash. Um, the paper, I have about this much, which I'm going to go through and actually probably maybe make like a few more bows, but, and maybe a few more rosettes. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm done with this collection, I think. Um, but I might get rid of some of this and just keep the bigger pieces and put them in my stash. And then as you can see, I used this whole thing. I was so excited to see that this whole thing was used up. I was so happy. So I am thrilled with that being used. Um, this is the, um, what is it called? The outside for the paper pad. And I used up, of course, I took apart the whole thing because I wanted to use the border strips but this is the paper that I have so far and I can really tell what paper I was gravitating towards and what paper I did not like in this collection so I like this one I've seen like a lot of that in there this one right here not my favorite not my favorite Sorry if you hear my daughter in the background. She's playing, so. But yeah, so I have a few pieces of paper from this collection. I will actually put this in my stash um, and use it either as, like, white background or just in, like, coordinating, like, all this, my white and black, and then that, like, maybe my multicolored. But you can tell. Um, we'll take it off in a minute, okay? And so I will definitely be putting this in my stash. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I am super excited to be done with this and start a new collection. And, okay, pick up the beads and put them in the thing. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!